Hey everyone, Casual Gaming Dad here, and well, I certainly didn't expect to be making this video. Uh, and what I mean is, is I really wasn't planning on playing in season three for Diablo Two Resurrected, uh, but then some things happened and whatnot, and here we are. So once again. <laughs> Uh, I made a starting character as a barbarian, and I've had a lot of people interested in budget builds from the past, so I figured I would make this build. I didn't really play too much the first weekend uh, that we had, the first few days. Uh, up until this past Sunday, I was only level 24, and then in a single day I got over 50 levels, you know, and I think it was around 4 hours or so, just getting bumped through, uh, you know, normal nightmare in hell. Well, not through hell. I'm only in Act 2 hell uh, right now. But I decided to focus right now on doing other things, um, specifically farming. And anyways, um, I tried a different build. And it's it's the Singer Bar. It's Warcry. And so I wanted to make a video about it. So um, I hope you enjoy it. And, you know, one of the things I believe a lot of people don't think about when it comes to this game is that uh, in reality, while it's ideal to be farming in hell mode, uh, not every build can start with that there, especially without gear. And this is one of those builds. Uh, the damage really just isn't high enough. Um, right now I'm level 77 and um, my focus has been to just farm in Nightmare. And a lot of people don't realize this, that you can actually find some pretty good stuff in Nightmare. A lot of people farm Nightmare in Dariel, Nightmare Mephisto. I'm not going to be doing that with this build, of course, because I don't have teleport. Uh, but there's still other things you can do. And in the past, I've had quite a bit of success. You know, um, the Barb is obviously really good at places like Travancore. Uh, you can farm Eldritch. You can do Pindle. Um, you can kill Shank if you want to as well. Uh, so I'm going to showcase the build. So tell me what you think. Let's start with the skills. Okay. Uh, nothing in combat skills. Uh, some people put leap and leap attack. Uh, you certainly can. Uh, I don't want to for the time being. I just want to conserve as many points as I can to maximize war cries. One point wonders as usual with the barb. There's no need for any masteries here because we are not swinging our weapons. We're just yelling out loud. Uh, and so here we have war cry. Obviously, you want to max this out. You know, it has three synergies, one, two, and three, uh, as well as battle orders, really. Um, I put one point in here and here. Some people put a point in Grim Ward. Uh, you certainly can, uh, simply because what it does, it helps uh, it helps bring negative resistance down um, If you, since we do physical damage here with Warcry. So if you have that coupled with the Sunder Charm, then you can break physical immunity and bring it down and actually kill them. Uh, the reason why I don't put a point here is because um, I don't think this is like really, really strong end game, fast clearing type build. And I'm not farming in areas where there are typically physical immunities, so I'm not really uh, concerned about that. So again, I'd rather conserve my points for other things. I put one point here, one point here. Obviously, as I get more plus to skills, this percentage will be higher. Um, I decided to max battle orders for the time being. I have not respect um, at all. Uh, I may uh, do that at some point so I can get all of these max. Because right now I have this max, this, battle cry. Taunt is at base 16, so four more levels, uh, which I there's still three points in hell mode that I haven't gotten. So one more level plus this, so 78, I'll be maxed on this. And then I need 19 more here to max this out, which... Is unlikely. I'm probably not going to go past 90, I'd say, at most with this character. Not, I don't typically do that. It's quite a grind afterwards. Uh, so I may respec, take some points out of here. I think it's like seven or eight points and put it here just to max this out. Uh, it really depends. It depends on a number of things. But So you can do it the way you want it. The reason why I did battle orders is because when you're leveling a barb and you're getting carried by other people, like I was... I want it to be of the most use uh, to them. And for me, I felt that that was the battle orders, right? So I maxed that out. Um, it gives me a lot more survivability. It gives me more mana, too, for Warcry, which it's very mana cost intensive. This is only 26, and it's 28.7 mana. 
And so it costs a lot, especially when you have high fast cast rate, your mana goes down pretty quickly. Now there's some things we could do to mitigate that, of course, so let's talk about that. Uh, but before we do, I'm just gonna show you my stats. Uh, because I was leveling up, what I recommend is putting some points into energy. So I put 40 into energy here. That little bit really uh, helped me to be able to, you know, up spam or cry a bit more, uh, as well as my battle orders without worrying about just completely running out of mana every time I did that. So this is only for leveling purposes. Um, when I respec, this will be down to zero. I will not have this anymore. It's not necessary. Okay. I have a base value of 350 for vitality, nothing in the decks at this point. Uh, and I have 55 base strength. I'll probably take it to 60 uh, just because of some items that I like to use. Um, but just whatever amount of strength you need uh, to take it to 60. Uh, in this case, I don't have a torch or an annihilus right now. And in the past, I've had people say that, well, torch and annihilus are budget, right? And uh, I can certainly see some argument for uh, a torch, although on a bar. Our torch is really not that expensive. Annihilus, on the other hand, is incredibly easy to get. There's already been a couple of walks. They were just super early in the morning on Asia. So I chose not to get up early for those because I know there'll be more coming. It's just, it, it, eventually, there's a point where last season, I literally left the Diablo 2, uh, what's it called? D2R Clone Hunters Discord because the amount of notifications I would get was just ridiculous. There were so many, so many walks throughout the season. So I'm not really concerned about that, but that'll help out with this. So really, you're just kind of like most builds. You put it enough into strength and or decks to wear the items you want and then everything else into vitality for survival. Okay, let's take a look at the gear. This is really as budget as it gets. I mean, I mean, honestly, truly, you know, uh, any anyone can achieve this. Okay, I'm I'm dual wielding spirit. Okay, this really wasn't that difficult to get. Uh, I've during nightmare bail runs, I think a broadsword with four sockets dropped. I picked it up, uh, and then I got another one uh, from cows that was so not even crystal sword, which is ideal, right? Saves those five points of strength, but I, I didn't really care. Uh, I just wanted to get things going. Uh, I found a, you know, one in cows, used my Larzuk. I think it's totally worth using one of your socket quests. Some people would argue no. For me, it's again about just getting going on things. So I felt it was totally worth it. So dual spirit, it's great because the two skills, you get the faster cast, you get the hit recovery, you get vitality and mana. You need those things, all those things. Okay. I'm using stealth still. It's working just fine. I haven't found a suitable replacement yet. Ideally, this would be something with MF, like Scalders or whatnot, or um, even Skin of the Viper Magi, something to give you plus to skills, faster cast, resist, all of that's good, but you could totally get away with stealth. Um, I have just an MF amulet. I've got an MF ring. This is just stuff I just picked up, right? Here, this is an all resist ring I picked up, okay? Uh, I vendored these things, by the way, a lot of these things. So these were vendored, MF, right? MF, you know, I started with less, but you know, vendored, vendored this so I could have more strength for this. So I picked up while well, I was farming Countess and Nightmare for runes for these and for the Merc's Insight, which I'll get to. Uh, I found uh, five Hell runes, five or six Hell runes, and Hell runes are people find them valuable. I traded five of them for a Paul rune, and I traded Paul for this, and it was a perfect forty percent. Uh, MF, which it ranges from 25 to 40, uh, and I felt it was worth it because I'll probably get a lot of mileage out of this. This is basically like having plus two to all skills because I'm using War Cries primarily only. So it's plus two to War Cries, and then I socket with two perfect toe passes. Okay, 88 MF. That's a huge deal breaker for me right there. Puts me not quite at 200, but I'm getting closer there. And then I just have some nothing special, nothing noteworthy to write home about. Uh, my Merc, I made Insight. I literally just found this four socket site. It doesn't matter the base, you know, when you're playing this early on. The main thing is the Meditation Aura, which is really, really valuable with Warcry because it helps drastically reduce the speed at which you lose mana. Now, you spam mana pots when you need to, but this really helps with that, okay? Uh, this is just something I found, right? I had before a vendor, you know, one with lots of life, and this is also something I found. But initially, again, I just put something with 
with plus to life. You just vendor these things. And it was fine. My In Nightmare, my Merc doesn't die. Doesn't die. And I'll show you, right? Let's go to Travancore really quick. Okay. I have the volume down, by the way, in the game uh, for reasons. But so just battle orders run over here. I just, I want my Merc to be here so that I get the meditation, right? And you just run up. You try to catch as many of them as you can, but you can't stun the elites. Uh, sorry, the, the the unique ones. You can stun the minions. So you just, they, they, they tend to come to you. But obviously, ideally, you want to gather them up as much as possible. As you can see, I still haven't had to spam a mana pot. I'm still doing okay. Sometimes these guys are a bit annoying because they'll keep leeching from you. But as long as you stay the course, you got it. So, And then I just... Little course. Okay. Find item here. A small charm. Okay, a large charm. Nothing else really noteworthy, but see how simple and easy that was. I wasn't, I didn't even lose half my life, right? Let's see if we got any, okay. Uh, nine poison resist. Okay, I'll take that over this gold. That's useless. Um, I'll show you just some other stuff I found. Nothing really that crazy. I found a couple of Saigons, but you know, the Parisa <laughs> isn't worth my, I found another four socket. Just for fun. this is what I was using at first, right? Just because I needed wanted to bump my MF up. Some claws I found. I found a three-sided claw. I think I'd like to try the assassin, like everyone else, right? All these runes I found doing countess and just other things. Look at all the rails I have. I still have hells. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, nothing really that amazing. Like I was using this earlier again, vendored, right? Uh, just some, I was using this for a while, you know, just saving up these, right? Plus two martial arts. Sure. Why not? And that's really another all resist ring. This one could have been, could have been good if it was like war cries, right? Actually would have been pretty good. So nothing that crazy so far, but again, I haven't really been playing for very long. I haven't played that much. I've only really done like a few hours with the farming because it took me a bit just to get to this point. But you go up here, you cry at Eldritch, Eldritch, and then because you have faster cast, the find item goes really quickly. I'm here. As long as you don't have amp damage, you should be fine going and dealing with Pindle here. Sometimes they charge at you, and if you have amp damage, that can hurt. So you just walk up to them and do this. Drop them all. And find item. Ideally, I'd really like find item to be a little higher level, so I have a higher chance. But that's it. Rinse and repeat. You know, very simple. You know, so even at this point, you can just farm nightmare for the time being. You can find some pretty good stuff. I found I found a Shaco off of uh in the past, was it uh, Nightmare Shank, I think, once? And I believe so. Was it Shake Off? Or was, it, was that not? Mm, I, I feel like it was. Maybe I'm confusing it. But you can find some pretty good stuff in Nightmare. And the point is, is you know, it's it doesn't have to be Hell Mode Viable right off the bat. Okay? Um, is this build Hell Mode Viable? Yes. Yes, it is. Uh, if you have these all maxed out, the damage, and you have more plus to skills, like if you had an Annihilus, uh, a torch that's plus four more, uh, you know, plus one here, uh, maybe plus one here. Some Warcry GCs, some simple ones. I mean, it, it, you know, they're they're not too, they're really not expensive. They're just vanilla. You know, you can get your damage up. You can you could certainly do enough, and I, I expect I will. But for now, it's it's just much safer to go into into nightmare and just do this, and it's very quick and easy, quick and easy runs. You know, and uh, I kind of like this run a bit. Just go back and do uh, Pindle uh, for the time being. Uh, and, you know, I, I may just switch to Trav because Trav has been very good to me in the past. Of course, in Hell Mode primarily. But uh, in Hell Mode, it may be a little bit more challenging here. 
uh, with this setup right now because I'd need the Merc to survive and it might be more difficult for him to do that. So, you know, one of these days I'll make a video like this and I'll actually find a good drop while I'm doing demonstrating and that would just be, that would just be like the dream, right? But anyways, that's pretty much it, you know? So don't feel like you have to have a build that's Helmwood viable right off the bat. This has very simple, easy to acquire gear. Anyone can do it. I'm telling you, trust me when I say you can you can acquire this gear. It's not too difficult. Uh, for trading, I use Trader Uh, you know, and I've had a lot of great success with it. So I really recommend people giving it a try. Yeah, not really. Uh, you know, otherwise, you know, I mean, you could just put a lore here for another plus to skills if you want, or just put a three socket helm. Don't be, you can be patient or impatient like me. I, I was impatient. I put in the two socket because I just wanted to up my MF to at least 100, right? Uh, right now I am at 182. So I'm doing okay. Uh, I'd say that that's pretty good. I'm not at that 105 FCR breakpoint. I could be, but uh, not quite yet, and that's fine. Other than that, you know, if you have questions or thoughts or ideas, feel free to leave them down in the comments. You know, um, leave a like, consider subscribing, and, you know, let me know what, uh, what you're playing. I'm going to be playing this until I can farm up enough gear and whatnot, and then I'll probably try the martial arts assassin. When I tried, when I first tried the assassin, you know, I don't know how many years ago, and if it came out in Lord of Destruction, I initially tried uh, martial arts, and I liked it. It just wasn't strong for the longest time. So now that it's pretty OP, could be cool to try out. So, anyways, I'll uh, I'll see you soon. All right, bye bye.